Oh my God, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. We need to just do, we need to do something for the pre-show to capture this. You guys should record that. The stuff that goes on, dude. 10x is a hundred. Game time. Who? Game time. Who? <laughs> Jerry Glant at Jerry Glant. Be sure and follow him. Follow my wife at Elena Cardone. Please. She's. She's hitting 7,700 followers, but she's like, give me the 8,000, Papa, <laughs> and I'll service you deep. Ooh. Welcome, all right. Welcome hey, to Young Hustlers. What, welcome what, to Young Hustlers. What are we, what, already out the gate. I got we, it all. You got it all nasty I, already. I had to get all nasty oh already. Man, I did that meeting at Chrysler yesterday. How long did I, how long did I keep it clean? Uh, I think you made it maybe... Uh, 18 minutes? A bunch of parts and service people. Mopar was there, Chrysler, 600 people there. I got them jacked up, man. Oh, freaked them out. I think there was some parts people. You you ever been to the back service department of a car dealership? I think they're going to be selling stuff today. Oh, they will be. They will be. All right, Jared. Why do we do this show? We do this show for the young hustlers. And, dude, we got five callers on right now. 305-865-8668. We are doing this show for millennials because that, because we want to help you get ahead. We want to help you make money. We want to help guys you, and gals like you do what I did. And, and look, you don't even have to be a millennial anymore. You just got to be a whatever it takes. Not a whatever. There's uh, whatever what? people. I was I told Robert Kiyosaki, I'm like, dude, there's only two kinds of people. Yeah. There's the whatever people, whatever. Whatever. And there's the whatever it takes people. Okay. And this show is for the whatever it takes people that you will do whatever it takes. Brought to you by whatever it takes network. Mm. Subscribe to the channel because when you comment or write a question like you did this week and while we're doing this show, we get to see your comments and we get to respond to you. Take it over, Jay. Yeah, so somebody had reached out and, and asked about, uh, you know, he had, hey, Grant, what do you think about uh, Robert Kiyosaki and Rich Dad, Poor Dad, more specifically the the four cash flow quadrants uh, that he discusses? And um, so we, we chatted. I, I hate Robert Kiyosaki for writing that book. I wish I would have written that book. <laughs> you you only had one dad. Yeah, you're right. He had two dads, huh? Yeah. How's it, how's it, he's Japanese, right? Yeah. How's a Japanese guy end up with two papas anyway? I don't know, man. What happened to the first one? I don't know. Poor dad busted out? Yeah, poor dad busted out. Rich dad came along and said, son, your old poor dad, he don't know nothing. (laughs) I'm going to tell you what's right. Poor dad was a good old guy, but I'm going to show you the way. So somebody reached out and said, hey, can you guys discuss this? So we said, yeah. We sat down, we chatted about it, and and, and came up with it. But as we were going through... Uh, having a discussion about it, I came across an article uh, that I think uh, ties in really well to this, and it talked about uh, millennials' uh, warning signs for retirement. Mm-hmm. And uh, hey, so hey, it's hey! Not so about we're talking millennial retirement. No, we're talking about the Japanese people, man. man we we passed that. We're beyond oh, that. No, that was man. that was like. I started yesterday. talking about Japanese, and then yesterday. we had a technical difficulty. Kind of like you guys are having a freaking financial difficulty out there in the millennial world. Okay, here's the deal, folks. Big business is crushing it, mm. and you ain't. Mm. Here's the bottom line. You want to know about Robert Kiyosaki's four quadrants? Rich man, poor man, what that means? Okay? We want to share with you. I want to share with you what that's all about. Do right you, now, you're getting hammered. Do you want to take a caller right now? Because you're in the wrong quadrant. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't want to take a caller right now. Why are you thinking about a caller? So I want you to go back and read that bullshit. <laughs> because let me tell you, we did a, we did a show last week. We did. Okay, and we had a guy comment last week. Yeah, subscribers can comment. We can see you. Yeah, and we'll this cat repl- says, we'll reply back. "I lied, I lied, I lied. That show was like, bye, bye, bye. Y'all didn't really talk about investing, but no, we did, man. Look, if you took my advice last week, you would have saved almost seven hundred dollars. If you'd invested ten thousand dollars in the stock market last week, the last two shows we've done here about investing were like, leave it alone. It's not the time. Two days ago, I said, hey, if you're going to buy anything. Don't don't do it this second. Wait for airline stocks to come down. They busted ten percent yeah. just this week. I save you money, bro. <laughs> I told you, invest in yourself. Don't invest in the stock market. Now, Robert Kiyosaki in his book, The Four Quadrants, after Rich Man, Poor Man. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Old Rich man. Bitch, Poor Bitch. <laughs> uh your papa's rich, your papa's not. You left your poor papa for a rich papa. He could have named it any of that shit. It's all the same, dude. Can you get rich? Should you get rich? Will you get rich? How can you get rich? Are you a young hustler? 
So what? There's the employee. Can you give me the diagram? Can they see the diagram, or is that going to freaking throw us into some kind of technical difficulty? Okay, Jared, have you ever been an employee? You have a job. Uh, yeah. Do you have a job today? Yes. Because this is the one problem I did have with mm-hmm. this book. Being that I've been in all the quadrants. Are you an employee right now? Dude, I'm like I'm like Kung Fu. I got Kung when Fu. When was the last time you were an employee? Yesterday. You're right. Yesterday, company paid to get me on a plane. Guy next to me had some Ebola on it. <laughs> okay. I sat down. I said, hey, you got Ebola? Okay, good. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I was an employee yesterday. So, one thing I want everybody to understand before we go to break today is if you think... Being an employee is a bad thing because of this book. You are wrong. You're wrong. That is not what Kiyosaki was saying in the book. Okay, you will always be an employee. The Pope is an employee. He the damn employee of a big corporation called the Catholic Church, mm-hmm. and he works for the people. And when the people are unhappy, what happens to the Pope? It's all right to have some mar- some sex before marriage. It's all right. We're gonna start loosening up on that. Mm-mm. No? Watch out. Is that too sad? <laughs> don't watch go there, out. huh? Don't hey, go you're watching Young Hustlers. We don't watch what we do here. We watch what you do because we want to get your money right. Stay with us. You're watching Whatever it Takes Network at Jerry Glant. Follow my bad boy. Bang. Stay with us.